episodes of KWZ Drive Time, coming to you from the beautiful city. Coming up soon, we've got... <laughs> Mark, what's your ETA? I'm heading back now. Over. Proceed to 26.133 degrees north, 3.628 degrees east. Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Anno 2205. What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are playing a new game, New City Builder from Ubisoft. I want to thank Ubisoft for giving me a product key, a little uh, press review. I was like, oh, I'm impressed, I'm impressed now. Yay. I'm impressed by this game. Uh, but I'm put on ting. Uh, it's a city building, futuristic city building game where you can uh, go into, uh, there's ice uh, biomes, regular earth biomes, and of course to the moon. There's 12 different uh, strategic kind of strategy based kind of objective based building. Not too much, it's not like city skylines, it's not that crazy, but it is pretty cool. Let me just hop in, let's create a new corporation. As you can see, I've already been playing, I've played for a little bit, uh, just to see what it's like. Level three. Let's try a new I'm one. I'm glad you accepted my invitation. Oh, hi. Samantha Beaumont, Global Union Supervisor of the Lunar Licensing Program. What's up, girl? We have a lot to discuss. But first, I'd like to introduce you to your artificial data amalgamating messenger. Hi. Thank you for participating in the Lunar Licensing Program. The program stipulates that your corporation set up operative spaceports to act as bases for a new wave of lunar colonization. Ooh. You will further assist Global Union in the development of a fusion energy reactor to avert Earth's impending energy crisis. Officially, only mega corporations are allowed in the program, but I personally took a stand for you. You just have to sign in with your corporation name. Diesel Corp has name has already been assigned to another corporation uh, that's, uh but, but but it's my but it's me uh diesel hmm just put corporation diesel corporation yeah confirm Thanks, yeah but I need to see your corporate logo as well oh you do now vacation purposes it'd be kind of cool if you can upload your own but whatever let's go with the same one I had diesel corporation's got the skull the wings? My superiors at the Global Union had reservations about you, but I've convinced them. Oh, they thank even you. decided to allocate you high-grade territory for new corporate headquarters. Mm. Choose a sector. So we have War, a Walbrook Basin with one remote and several large islands. Walbrook Basin is rich in mineral resources and provides ample room for settlement. The basin is known for a defunct dam, which fell into ruin decades ago. We have Cape Ambar. Cape Ambar is a cluster of islands following easy access to many riches of the sea. Rumor has it technologies uh, just beneath the surface. Mm -hmm. And Viridian Cove is a small, hardly colonizable island in the gate to the vast plains of Viridian Coves. The beautiful scenery is the site of Global Union's latest prestige project. I'll say, let's start over here in the Walbrook Basin. Almost there. We just have to negotiate the terms of your contract with Global Union. Okay, we're just going to start out standard. And the like. I am standard. Be I am B 
beyond, I'm, I'm well on that standard. <laughs> Advanced, expert, uh, maybe later on. But this is going to be something that's going to be popping into my channel, into a series, because it is You are now entering gorgeous. phase one phase of one the Lunar of Licensing the program. Licensing program. The Global Union assigned you territory in Earth's temperate region okay. to establish a spaceport and a base of operations. The construction of a space elevator to Global Union headquarters is also required. Is it For now? further instructions, speak to your official contact person. Global Union wishes you success. <laughs> wishes you success. Uh, okay. Wide meadows and towering mountains. And Wee. soon you will add an impressive skyline to the picture. Ah, uh, yes I will. But stay attentive. I was informed a Big Five company has been monitoring the ruined dam for quite some time now. Of course, when this I record, that's for you when the point. FPS comes into but play. But your prime objective <laughs> is to raise a spaceport here. Very pretty. Now, this is the main port. The spaceport building site off the coast is still unstaffed. But as soon as you've built the necessary housing, your construction team will be moving in. Ah. So now we have objectives over here. Lunar licensing program, work in progress. Develop a spaceport will be great deal of work. Let's call the professionals. Uh, sure. But check out check out all this. I mean, we got moving... We got a little movers and shakers I here, man. I know it's a lot of things to keep in mind. But Whoa. Adam compiled you a database where you can access all the information you need. We got little robots and little worker bees. Little worker bees. Uh, okay. So what do we do? Uh, there's other things like FPS camera we can spin around, get a nice little cinematic. That's lovely. Spin around, spin around. Mm -hmm. Let's just go back to the regular view. So now we have to attract a population of workers, build residents, and connect it to the warehouse. Build and connect a rice farm. Build and connect sunflower farm. Build and connect a biopolymer factory. Now, uh, this isn't so much of an amazing like city building. Uh, joint just yet. It's kind of giving you the objectives, and I'm not sure whether or not it's going to be uh, something where it's going to cut me off at a certain point here, because it is just a review copy. But first, we have to build some buildings. So we have roads. Now, it's not like city skylines. I'm just I'm going to set that right now. But look at this. That is super cool. So now we'll place our residence. Now, every single time that you make a residence, all we can click and just drag. But all it has to have in order for Don't it to operate. To We're on it. No, new buildings. Construction nice. of new building types possible. See now as you can see here, these are not active. So what we need to do is that we need to at least touch one piece of road. See watch, I'm just gonna just one little piece. And now it's connected. It's pretty. We got flying cars, y'all! What's up? Alright, so we got some new buildings that we have to try and get. So now we got people moving in. We have residences and population of workers. Build and connect rice farm. Now, you don't have to worry in this uh, aspect. We don't have to worry about putting factories next to residences. It doesn't matter. They don't care. It doesn't mind. It's fantastic. Organic food is perceived as needless luxury by many megacorps. Needless luxury? Good to see you share the union's perspective. So now, transportation center. Building types possible. Ah, oh, sweet. Let's pop that right down there. Let's pop it down there, man. And we'll get some roads going here. Get some roads going here. All right, let's go here. And we're just gonna stretch you out. And we're gonna start our factories and things like that. So build residence and connect it to the warehouse. Okay. So we have sunflower farm. Boom. Great. Building material shortages shouldn't be an issue anymore. All right. So now down here we have our population, our workforce. Uh, we have uh, logistics, logistics, transportation center 75. It helps uh, the people get to where they need to go, and we have our energy. Now with our energy, we have wind parks. We need biopolymers. So what shall we do? We need more people. So we need the people's power to the people's baby. Oh, wait, we need... Oh, no. Okay. Wait, so, okay, so what do we need here? Mmm. Vitamin factory. Oh, no, this is a sunflower field. What is this? Sunflower farm. So we need sunflower farm, and that will create our 
selves some biopolymer. Now the biopolymer is what we will need to build some certain things. So with the sunflowers all in tow, but now we have negative five in energy. So we have wind turbines. We need two, we need three, and five hundred credits. Don't worry, we got plenty of credits. Uh, not so much on the people though. Okay, and see this little radius here. This radius means um, if I wanted to place another wind farm down and these intersect, it loses efficiency. So you have to spread it out. Now, it's not like City Skylines where you uh, don't have to worry about the people getting upset. It's not going to create any noise pollution. It's not going to do any of that. But what are we losing here? Employees up. Maintenance down. Oh. Hmm. So we need more employees, huh? Okay. We can do that. We need build residence and connect it to 14 slash 25 warehouse. Okay, so what we'll do... We have six polymers. Biopolymers. Biopolymer, man. Biopolymer is the name of the game here. We'll build you. Let's, can we connect you? Oh. I need to delete you. I want to delete you. How do I delete you? Aha. Still learning this game. Demolish, not assigned. Gotcha. Delete you, delete you. Nice. 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 Okay, so let's get this. We've got the ruad going here. Can we connect you? We cannot. That's okay. It's fine. Okay. Let's just take a little look. Look at all these little... All these wonderful little moving parts. We've got workers working. We have all kinds of machines going back and forth. It's really cool, man. I tracked a population of workers 39 by 50, so we need more workers. Okay. We have 10 biopolymers, so let's go ahead and we'll fill this out here. And we'll take a road and see if we can complete our ob objective. Now we have flying cars. There are no highways and byways just yet. And in order for you to get certain technologies and get through the game, like let's put, let's find a little area here if we can. Uh, I don't have it highlighted yet because we haven't finished this objective yet, but we're soon going to do it. Your construction crew is one of the first ready. Boom. Keep up the pace. Keep Your up the pace. Will try to catch up. Damn right. Keep For up the, the Jones construction stage. You'll need qualified ground staff to operate the spaceport. Make sure to adhere to union standards while providing the required infrastructure. Okay. So now we have the salinization plant has been unlocked. Now we do have ornaments and things like that that were like parks and medium parking lots. You know me in parking lots, son. Uh, but check this out. You can only build in these certain Morning. places. Unfulfilled demand for Stop. specific S consumer products. Stop. You'll be fine. Sideline, we still got tickets. Now, salinization plant. Let's just make one road, just connecting you at least one tile to it. Plant. These days, it's the only way to come by drinkable water. But look at oh, it. all these moving parts. And all the people walking over, too. It's so cool. It's so pretty. It's so nice. So lovely. It's so fantastic. Okay, so now, produce water, attract a population of 88 to 200, build and connect an Invodrome. Invodrome, we need, dang, we need a lot of workers, man. But that's fine. So, let's go ahead, and we'll build ourselves some workers. I guess we don't have enough. Oh, corporation level up, we're level two. Woohoo! Company trademarks grow in popularity. Oh, nice. Our trademark has grown. Now, you can also upgrade these buildings to certain, certain things. Hold on. We need roads. I keep forgetting that we need to put at least one thing of road in between. So we'll make a little grid right here. Okay. 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 And then we just got to keep our eye on... So far, everything is A-OK. -okay. Right as rain. And that's all right. That's all right. And we're just making some lovely, lovely houses. Yes, lovely, lovely houses. You guys are doing a good job, man. You guys are doing a good job. But things like the Infodrome, it's a place where it fulfills the need of information place. It close to residents to supply them. Okay, so you just got to place it like in the, in the center hub here. So, let us continue to place down homes. Nice. Boom. 
Boom. Boom. And let's just keep it one tile is all we need. Fantastic. So we're getting the workers. Build and connect the info drone, but we need 200 workers. We're getting there. Soon. We are close. Ever so close. Come on. Come on. Promote the employees living in the designated residential building. Okay. Yep. And you can upgrade the uh, certain buildings and bring in more peoples and more monies and more workers. New buildings available. Now, check that out. New blueprints ready for implementation. Check down out, Dan. The info drone. 8,000 credits and 10 polymers. So we gotta save up. We gotta uh, let's speed up the game a smidge. You can hit, do that by hitting the plus key. Doesn't speed it up too much though, does it? Not a whole lot. That's fine though. That's fine. We have a little mini map down at the bottom right here. So you can see where we're all the way at this bottom left hand corner. So we have all of this area. And uh, the mines in this game too are very, very a cool. But let's. Range of information like services. That. This will enable your employees to develop their interests as well as their skills. Oh, will it now? Okay. Promote the employees living in a designated building. So see all these arrows? You can upgrade these buildings. It's not like working for a company. It's like helping a mate. We're all working for the corporations. The corporations are... Ugh. Ugh. So hold on, let's get to the eight. Come on, let's get all four of them. Come on, biopolymers, fill up. There we go. Operators at your service. Look at this, and then it upgrades the buildings for you. you Remarkable progress. You've assembled construction crews and ground personnel faster than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, I know. You are more than ready for the first major hurdle. Am I now? But check the out this. Program demands oh. you connect your city with the Global Union Space Station via a space elevator. Okay. Good. So far, only megacorps like the Big Five use such technology. Does it now? But I'm sure you have the same potential. I, I do have potential. You you are you are looking good. You are looking very nice. But check out the info drone. The graphics in this game are super nice. Let's go into the little view. Thank you, timer. Appreciate the timer, timer. Hundred orders to go. But I could basically upgrade all of these buildings up here to gain more workers, and that's probably what I'm going to do. Plus, I can add a parking lot right next to here, and this will be just a giant start off to a city. But you do have to watch your resources and manage uh, your time. Also, in this game, you can build battleships, and there is kind of like this little mini RTS aspect of the game, too, where you will build up some fleets and go and attack other people. It's going to be super duper dope. Let's go ahead and upgrade these. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. So we got some workers. But, produce and construct obot. Construct obots. Oh. <laughs> construct obots. Construct obots. Now we have operators. We got the operators tab. So we have construct obots. But we also have Felspar quarries and miners in order to get constructo bots consumption per minute minus five minus five credits three thousand so in order to build constructo bots we're gonna need some cobalt mines plus we also have a transportation center too but we already have one of those bad boys so what we if we want to if we really 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 want to we could construct maybe another one of these bits Maintenance cost preview. Okay, that's fine. So, we build two of those. Okay, input goods missing. So, we need to create another one of the bioresins plants in order to fulfill that particular need. Now, on top of all of this, see, now that's it's even and out. 92%, 92%, but we're also losing power. So, remember. Don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. We'll put this area over here. So now we have plenty of energy, plenty of fun times, but we need we need ourselves some mines now. Now, the only thing I kind of don't like about this is that if you need mines, there's only so many designated areas that you can make the mines. And this is one of them. So let's go ahead and we'll put one of those in there. Remember, we need a road. Just one bit of road to connect one road to connect them all. I might as well just connect these up here. And we're also going to need 
the same one? Which one do we do here? This is Felspar Quarry. So we need another quarry over here to create Constructo Bots. Constructo Bots. Construct. Um, and then we'll have to make a road that connects you. And then just to keep. Now, uh, unlike City Skylines, I'm just going to be comparing it, and it's not really a game that you should be comparing it to. Let's get some ornaments. Oh, we, we're losing power. Okay, so we need some more wind, more wind, because we got to have it. So let's go ahead and put some more wind power in there. So now we have more energy. Excelente, excelente. Major surplus, 38. So let's think about maybe maybe throwing throwing in here another service. Boom. And let's throw in here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that'll be fine. Just right there. Ah, I knew there was something going on here. Oh, did you now? Nick Papadakis. Nice to meet you. Enterprises. I think. You want a good deal? Just come to my warehouse. I've got good deals. We're practically giving them away. All right. Now, we do need some more power, but first, let's upgrade our joint right here. Let's upgrade those bad boys, and let's also put in another wind Warning. turbine. Energy grid overload. And we can we can flip these by using the comma, and but you can just make, you can mess around, you can mess around with the key bindings all you like. Uh, so we're getting some workers in here. We're getting some workers. We're getting some power. We're managing, but on top of that, check out the animations for the mines. Whoa. Isn't that cool? All the little stuff is just rolling through. Let's check out the other mine. The other mine is super cool. Oh, man. Look at it go. Look at them go. Just grinding away at the mountain, baby. That is pretty fly. Now, like I said, it does have its limit, has its uh, it has it has its limitations, but uh, when it comes to creativity and kind of just being able to play stuff, it, it, you do need a road. All the roads are flat. There's no elevated things unless. Now, let's um, talk about oh, the next hey, few steps. Hey, Sarah Belmont. Credit balance. Reach credit balance in. Okay, so we're losing we're losing some cash here. We're losing cash. That's we can't we can't do that. So let's go ahead. We'll get you. Hey hey. Produce vitamin drinks. Oh, okay. But we also have to produce. So we got operators and constructo, constructo bots construct. And one Good. is You've all. The one is all we need. The Only the elevator cable requires Ooh, special. That's a lot of energy. That's a lot of energy we need. For a delivery. It's a lot of energy. Dang, man, we don't have a whole lot of roads. So, let's go ahead. And we shall... Now, like I said, we can place these things anywhere we want to. So let's go ahead and we'll make... like We, can, we could place them right next to each other. Now, later on in later uh, aspects of the game, Warning. you can... Workforce too low. Workforce to too low. See? Order. Now we got problems. See? Can't, can't, can't have too many problems going on here. So let's upgrade all the buildings as high as we can. New blueprints ready for implementation. Oh, nice. So, you have to keep the workforce going. If the workforce isn't high enough, it's not going to be able to construct anything. Now, we do have inputs. And we have, oh, corporation level up. Nice. Corporation level three. Competitive edge. Sharpened. Nice. Okay. So, we are still Your losing cash. From a shortage of workforce. But we're this not losing that much. We still have power problems. Really? Really? Now, Consumer with. analyses show unfulfilled demand. For specific commodities. I gotta attract the population. Buh, 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 buh. Now we do need more Ah, so fruits. The fruits of our labor. So we'll pop that in there. I'll pop this in here as well. A clever move seeing to your staff's Boom. good health. But benefits like that make you a more attractive employer. More energy. More energy. It's all, it's an energy grab, but the efficiency goes down if you attach it, but you can also uh, upgrade modular with, uh, have a little modular things here that go along to add more wind to more power, but you have to be able to mine certain resources that are rare resources. 
Your facilities are consuming more energy than you are providing. Okay, it's fine. This we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's gonna be all right. Unfulfilled demand for specific consumer products. Shush, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. Now check out this. Residential complexes. They're bigger, they're badder, they're ready for the taking. Boom. So let's go ahead and we'll lay down a couple of these. And fill you up, girl. We'll fill you up. And then that way more workers will come in. Good. Let's upgrade we these. Keep this procedure in mind in future. It's pretty fly. New buildings available. Construction of new building types possible. Ah, check it out. Tidal power station, huh? So in order oh, so in order to fix our little problem with our power sitch, we have a new energy, but it can only be placed over here. So let's place it over here. And then after this, when we connect this bad boy up, I believe we will call this an episode. Boom. So now our energy demands are met, and we could probably get rid of I hope this helps you. Let's uh decon oh nice. But we're still losing cash. But we must get more workers in. Because we need more workers. See? 48%. Goods input too slow. Workforce missing. They need more people. I get Sorry, it. Sorry, you must be uh, accustomed to more comfort. Fully satisfied. How are you fully satisfied? That's good. It's good to know. It's good to know there, guy. Now we do have things like ornaments. We have large parking lots. We could place those parking lots right there. Right there. And then we have we can put small parks in between. So there is a little bit of customization when it comes to uh, you know, certain decorations that you would like. And let's just have that. Put that right there for everybody. Nice. But look at all this. Look at all these people. This is gorgeous. Let's, you know, let's, let's go ahead and upgrade some of these. Can we upgrade any, any more? No? Bueller? 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 Alright, so what we'll do here is let's just create some more houses, some homes along the ridge line there. And we can. We can upgrade more. Boom. And I think you can only upgrade so many at a time until things get a little squirrely. But since we're already around that particular area, operators ornaments. Let's go ahead and get a medium joint here. See, Boom. it's working now. Boom. Parking lots, parking lots. Boom. Now we are still losing some credits here. Whoa, whoa. Maintenance employees. We need more employees. You want only 13 employees in. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, bro? So I believe this is where we have left. We will leave off for now. Folks, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead, hit like. And it helps my channel out ever so much more than you know. And if you enjoyed it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New uh, videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Today is the uh, the day where uh, I'm allowed to uh, upload these uh, particular videos. Because the game comes out tomorrow for all of you to enjoy. So, if you enjoyed this uh, Anno 2205, give it a like, like I said. Hit subscribe. Tell your peoples about my channel. Share it with all your peoples. And uh, I will see you right back here. I don't, I don't think, can I name this? I don't think I can name this city. I don't. So, folks, everyone have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night, peace out, like, shout, and I will check you out right here again in Anno 2205 next time.